wanted to know what their aspirations were for a new grant. Uh, there were many wonderful ideas that came out of those uh, meetings. Uh, we heard residents talk about the importance of creating people spaces, meeting spaces of various sizes, whether they were large community rooms to uh, small tutoring rooms. They told us that they needed state-of-the-art technology in their branches, that they wanted, they longed for programs and events that would really help uh, our youngest uh, uh, residents to aspire and allow adults to be able to become more successful. They want us to have safe and constructive places for our teens to hang out. Those are the kinds of places that they wanted from us. They wanted us to have libraries that would serve as an anchor for the community to reflect its history, its heritage, and culture of West Dayton. Uh, and they hoped that this library would be an oasis. Now, five weeks ago, we opened our new Northwest branch. Yay. It has been. <laughs> It has demonstrated what a nar large new branch can do to enrich the community, building upon the ideas of residents and support of community leaders. Together, we built an awesome library. It's vibrant, it's exciting, and ever since it's open, there's been a thousand people a day coming in and using and staying at that library. Uh, it is the pride of their community. Uh, now it's the time to do another successful project here in West Dayton. In our public forums, there was a strong consensus that we should build one new branch in West Dayton, one that would consolidate the staff, the collections, the personalities, and the aspirations of the communities that were served by the Madden Hills branch and of the Westwood branch. When this new branch opens, it is going to be twice the size of taking those two branches together um, and housing them at one site. It's going to be a substantially larger, more vibrant building than what we've had in the past. Uh, today, the uh, Dayton Metro Library is pleased to announce it has selected this site uh, for our new West Dayton branch. Uh, it takes a little imagination, but if you look south down the street here at the far end, approaching the highway there, uh, coming uh, initially off of uh, Abbey Road there in terms of the parking and some outdoor space there, you can imagine this as a beacon drawing residents not just from the north that are in the Westwood and Residence Park area, but drawing residents from across the entire uh, uh, West Dayton area, including south of 35. Um, we want to imagine that this branch is strategically located right at the gateway to this aviation heritage site. It's going to have a spectacular presence on seven acres along Route 35 there at Abbey. And so I want to say many thanks uh, to the National Aviation Heritage Alliance, the Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historic Park, the city of Dayton, uh, for working with us to help develop this, a, a combined vision about what this site could be. And so we're confident that our, our beautiful new library is, and the National Park site will serve as a catalyst uh, for additional investment and development at, at, in this site and in all of West Dayton. We're excited about the opportunities this project has to create real momentum in West Dayton. We, we will develop a synergy with our partners and turn this former factory site into a new set of assets that will deliver beyond everyone's expectations. We can't wait to get started. Thank you very much. Here and want to say congratulations both to uh, uh, Naha for their vision of what this right factory could be as far as an asset uh, in our community and developing off that asset. And congratulations to Tim Cambage and his whole team uh, for recognizing that that's what we're trying to do is leverage our work together to make sure that we have something really spectacular here in the heart of West Dayton. Uh, I want to also commend uh, the Dayton Metro Library. The conversations in West Dayton were um, uh, pretty constant and pretty uh, nonstop, uh, really listening to the community, trying to make a decision on where the, the new library would make the most sense. Uh, and want to congratulate them, I think, on what I think is a really good decision. Uh, this is an exciting time right now for this site, and uh, I want to com commend Naha for just the great work that they've done for people to see the value of the very first factory, uh, airplane factory in the world, right here in, in Dayton, and to connect that with the library to see what we can invent next in Dayton, I think, is something that can be very, very special. So. I want to congratulate you for that effort. Finally, I want to say this is very good timing considering what uh, the city is doing regarding the West Dayton framework. 
Just a few weeks ago, Commissioner Chris Shaw and John Lufkin are co-chairing an effort to really figure out how we leverage our investments and our assets in West Dayton to make sure that we have development that is uh, thoughtful, long-term, and meaningful to our community. And this is a great big step in that effort, and I want to congratulate the entire community for coming together and seeing opportunity in West Dayton. Congratulations, and thank you. I was just telling one of the library people, I work downtown in the Kettering Tower, and I was just getting in my car on the sixth floor of the, of the parking garage, I always park in the sixth floor, so I can remember where my car is. <laughs> and you look out that back, and you see that downtown library going up, and it is so exciting. I know we're not going to have quite the size of that out here, but it's going to be big, and it's going to be exciting, and, and it is just, just such a great asset to put out here along with the historical buildings and the other developments that will go on this site. so supportive all the way all along uh, the right Dunbar people citywide Mr. Weber out here who just can't do enough for us uh, we've just got some really great people working on this project and again we come at it from the historical side but we know that that's not the only thing we look at this whole West Dayton corridor from the VA to the right Dunbar and the river and we say if we can just get something more going out here and get the enthusiasm of the entire group, uh, we can do really wonders out here. And this is just a great start. And, and I want to thank everybody who's been involved. And uh, keep plugging. We're going to make it. Thank you very much.